Yes, at last, we're finally in a plane. November 0, 2, X-ray, pop-up, fly heading 280. Heading 280, November 0, 2, X-ray, pop-up. And finally being interrupted by air traffic control. Um, so yes, we're finally in a plane. We're finally in the Twin Otter. And we're here at Lukla, the uh, airport that serves Everest. Um, well, I thought, why not start as you mean to continue? So um, grab a parachute because you're going to need it. <laughs> Let's go. So hi there, Steve here, and welcome to X-Plane, and welcome to my twin otter. Um, yep, yeah, but actually bought and paid for um, this thing, and it's fantastic. I do really like it as an aircraft. Um, so first thing we need to do is get the thing started. Um, first, okay, what's happening there? First, come on, track IR. I don't like track IR in this. I really, really don't, because you can't, well, there's the side of the plane. Okay, first job then is put the avionics on, maybe, the battery. Okay, uh, that on. Then I've got to do the thing down here with the fuel, otherwise it won't start. To there, I think that's right. Um, avionics then should be on yes they are I'm sure it's that one for that one and then that should go on one of those there we go um fuel's on hopefully and now we should be able to start the engine No, it won't start because I haven't turned the fuel on, which is up here. Playing this game with track IR actually hurts my neck. Because uh, uh, you've got to really... Okay, so let's try that. Now we've got fuel. There we go. All right, one engine running. And now for the other one, we'll go a bit of an external view. And the leader switches on my throttle around the wrong way. They're based this way, so I've really got to think when I'm starting whichever engine. There we go. Okay, we have engines running. So this will be a quick little, oh, come on track I are, uh, quick little video. Basically, I just want to try and take off. That's the plan. Um, I've tried to work out how to do the nose wheel steering, um, which there is. And the toggle I've got on the control just says toggle nose wheel steering. And I can't work out how you actually steer it. So. Any of you out there that can give me a bit of help and guidance on that would be appreciated. Literally, I am starting out completely fresh and new to the world of X-Plane. Let me get rid of that. It's not a touch screen. Is it a touch screen? No, it brings that up there. I don't want to do that. Okay, we've got some sort of message there. Again, I've got to get completely used to this, but I've been saying for a while that I was going to pull out a video. Um, so I thought it best to do that. So the only way I can work out how I can turn to get onto the... Uh, to get onto the runway which is i can't i hate this thing um to get onto the runway which is there is to actually use the throttles um so i've actually got those separated so my feet on the toe brakes um so if i go that engine 
No, that engine. Maybe that engine, wouldn't it? No, it's that engine. I'll try and work. There we go. So. This isn't easy. because The throttles actually seem to be round the wrong way. So if I'm pushing the right hand one. actually getting this thing come on okay roughly pointed in the direction I want to go that I don't keep that tow brake on oh, because this isn't easy get that tow brake on release that tow brake and then apply that throttle we should turn very very slowly a lot of you are probably going what the hell is he doing but the fact that my throttles are ran the wrong way Okay, and stop. Okay. Both toe brakes are on. Okay, engine's back to idle. We sort of made it onto the runway. Sort of. Down there looks like it's going to be interesting. I can't think... Well, it doesn't seem like I've got the rudder worked out correctly. Uh, in fact, if I go in and put the parking brake, which that doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay. Um, if I move the rudders, see the rudder pedals down here aren't moving. I don't, yes, they weren't animated anyway. But my rudder action, oh my god. Is there but not a lot of it that's straight so this could be an interesting takeoff so without further ado let's um, let's go for it shall we release the tow brakes apply some throttle I've got some rudder control in one direction Give it the beans. Wow, that's a short runway. Well, we got into the air. That was a short runway. Blimey, I didn't anticipate it being that short. Okay, well, we're in the air. Yay. So we may as well have a quick little fly while we're up here. Get ourselves a bit more relaxed. Yeah, I do need to how to work out. I need to work out how to fly this thing. It took me absolutely ages to work out why it wouldn't start. I said the throttle controls are backwards. Uh, the engine controls are backwards. Um, so I need to recalibrate that. But yeah, I just wanted to get up in the air basically. So the first flight from Lukla, you can't get much better scenery than that, can you? That's a very short runway we just left.
Doesn't that look good? Try and level it out a little bit. So yeah, rudder controls don't seem to be working. So, I don't know. That's... So it's that one. That seems to do something. On this side, I just haven't got much rudder control. Well, I managed to get off the ground. That's something, I suppose. So we're not actually climbing, but... Gives us an opportunity to have a quick little look around up here. I don't like the old truck IR thing in this. But hey, we're in the air. Okay. So again, I've got no idea how all this works. set the autopilot? How do you set the autopilot? I'm guessing that's engaged and disengaged. Okay, is that on? Will that now hold this altitude and heading? Oh my god, it's turning. Ah, that's because it's following that, isn't it? Okay, so it's following the heading bug. Okay. Well, I get that. I've used that before in other aircraft to adjust the heading bug and then adjust which direction I fly in. But how do I change the altitude set? Is that that? Two and a half thousand feet? It can't be because... We're at like 800 feet, so it's not going to climb then, uh, unless I set the altitude set at 8,000 feet. But we're not climbing to that though. Okay, well it's going to maintain this heading, which is quite nice. So literally, I am learning this on the fly. Um, So I need to work out how I can program a route into this thing and then how I can get the autopilot. I get the whole heading bug thing, I think. Um, so if I change this to there, it flies that way. So how do I do the altitude though? Is that on one of these? So we've got no altitude bug, or have I got to set it? See, that's got to set. Okay, set at 2300. So would that now do that? I'm guessing not because we're not climbing. Hmm. Okay. Well we got in the air, that's that's one thing. I just need to work out now how I can actually fly this thing. Wow, doesn't that look good? That looks really, really smart.
So it flies well. I'll give it that, it flies well. I've just got to work out how this thing works. Yeah, so I get the heading bug thing. Um, the SB is holding up 140. Uh, I've just got to work out how I can set an altitude for the autopilot. Once I can set tell it to go to an altitude and then select a heading, I'll be fine. I can make my way around places then. Um, so if you know how to do that, if you know how to drive or fly a Twin Otter, then please let me know in the comments below. Um, as I said, there will be more flights coming to the channel once I've found this thing out. My aim is to um, fly this plane from where it was made in uh, Canada back to the UK. That's what I want to do. Um, uh, not all in one go, obviously, in a series of legs. That's the plan. Um, in order to do that, though, I need to work out how to fly the plane. So we'll do that. I just wanted to do a quick little video just to prove that I could. So there we go. We'll um, end that there with that little view directly behind us. Yeah, leaving Lukla for sure. We'll turn that down and uh, end it there. There we go. So that's that then. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh, if you want to see more flight on the channel. Uh, please do check out the Google Plus page that I'll leave a description, um, a link to in the description below. And yeah, more flight to come once I work out how to fly this thing. Uh, don't forget, if you know how, please hook me up in the Google Plus page uh, or leave uh, some comments below, which I'm sure you will do. Until the next time then, if you have been, thanks very, very much for watching.